Oh, it says local traffic only. So I think we're okay. We're out to do our endurance ride for the week. Today is uh, it's gonna be fun because it's a new route that Joy just put together. And it, it takes some pieces that we've done already and then some, uh, you know, some, some new roads as well. And uh, yeah, basically what we're doing is, is going uh, up to Lake Warramug and, and then back. So um, several months ago, one of the solo rides that I did was to ride over to Lake Warramug and meet Joy there because she was doing a workout going around the lake. Uh, but I only went one way. So today we're going to do both ways, um, there and back. So it should be um, roughly a five-hour ride, and it'll probably be a little over 70 miles, but we're probably going to do a loop around the lake while we're there. It was a little chilly first thing this morning, but it's already starting to warm up with the sun, and uh, it's not going to be as hot as last week it's uh look at joy with her uh her her nice kit there she's she's got wearing her new uh giro what kind of giro shoes are those oh oh tech tech lace or something they are not the lace types because if i just want to undo them real quick i can do that and i can tighten it i can adjust these to be a little tighter so that's why I decided to, to get it. Oh, it's kind of warm in here, out here now. I'm, yeah, I don't know about the arm warmers. I don't know. Maybe I should just take them off. <laughs> I think you should just take them off now. I thought it was going to be cooler. But anyway, enough about, uh, enough about cycling fashion. We're uh, about to head out on our ride. I think I had the route just keep going straight, not going up Leech Hollow or anything. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Seems like Joy's legs are feeling pretty good even after her workout yesterday. She was just taking a pull at the front and uh, and putting out some good speed. And uh, I was able to, to draft behind her and save some energy. So it'll be my turn next when we leave this spot. I'll take a turn at the front. The legs are, uh, are freshly shaven, by the way. So, feeling arrow today? Uh, yeah, it is a new, kind of a fairly new route. Uh, coming back home is what we're doing that's new. Um, going there, we're pretty familiar with uh, how to get there. Uh, we do have that one big climb, which is 341, which is Seeger Mountain. And that's a three or to four mile climb. And so it'll be pretty steep. Um, well, there's some steep parts and there's some gradual parts. And so, um, yeah, we'll see how the legs feel then. Fuel of choice today for me are chocolate chip cookies with walnuts from Levain's. And so I am taking that with me and uh, eating it every time, every, at every stop, hopefully at every stop. Yesterday, um, I did a sub-threshold workout and it was three by 20 minutes. And uh, it was pretty hard. After the third round, I uh, couldn't get the power at the, even the low tempo. So I'm curious to see how my legs feel today. I can usually tell when I do squats in the morning if my legs are feeling okay. Uh, for the ride today or not they're feeling okay they just uh, I did feel a little slight uh, soreness so we'll see how it goes today
we wanted to make sure that it was fairly flat. And so um, we cut through some roads that uh, love this road called Church Hill. Uh, very windy, fairly flat. And then uh, we're going to head up to uh, Seeger in a few, in about an hour or so until we get there. But uh, we're refueling and I'm down to three cookies. So anyway, I'm having a problem with my, my seat also. It keeps dropping. So I just checked again. I just fixed it when we were in Squan's Pond uh, and it dropped. And then I checked again and it dropped. So I've been fixing it each time we stop. So that is a problem. Uh, so I'm gonna have to figure out another solution to it. I, otherwise, I'll just have to keep fixing it every time we stop. It's a nice, quiet, scenic road. Uh, it's not not a climb, but it's just kind of a windy, uh, windy road. But there's there were no cars on it, and so you can kind of go fast around the turns and everything. It was it was really fun. Anyway, like Joyce said, we're gonna hit Seeger Mountain pretty soon, which is a uh, our biggest climb of the day. So I'm just uh, enjoying one of these cookies that that Joy got. I'll use that as my my pre-climb meal. Seeger Mountain there and I'm pretty sure Joy did get a PR because my Wahoo told me that that I got a PR from compared to a few months ago when I did that climb um, and Joy hasn't done that climb since last year and um, last time I did that climb earlier this year it was a uh, faster time than what we did last year so I'm pretty sure Joy could, did get a PR there um, yeah, really fun ride today. I love love the route and the weather especially. It's, this is like the perfect riding weather for me. And uh, yeah, I'm just having a blast out here. We made it to Lake Waramug. Can't believe we rode here from the house, in Danbury, all the way up to wherever. Was this New Preston or Washington or Warren? I don't know what, what part of the uh, town Lake Waramug is in. Um, but yeah, we made it. Man, that climb, Seeger Mountain, um, always rough, although I forget. Sometimes I there's a steep part of it that's about two miles long. But luckily, Jason was in front, and I said to him that I was going to do an average of 180. And I'm hoping, I didn't check to see if I PR'd it. I wasn't really going for a PR, but man, my legs are feeling really good. And I think it's also... Uh, just this weather, just the temperature is so, um, it's not too hot. It's actually slightly overcast right now. Um, and then you get a nice breeze and that really helps. So it looks like everybody is, uh, people are camping around here and uh, enjoying the day. It's a good weekend to go camping, not too hot. Uh, so we're just doing a loop around Lake War Warmug. It's a nice breeze that comes through. Oh, it's so nice and I love the view. It's uh, I know it may not look it because of an overcast, but it's actually perfect. So 
what we're gonna do now is head back home. Um, hopefully it's some downhill. I can't get over it. I wish we had a kayaks and paddleboard just to go do this. By the way, Jason got stung by a bee on his hand when we were climbing Seeger. Oh, it says local traffic only. So I think we're okay. Yeah. So we're, uh, we're about 56, 57 miles into the ride now and just stopping here for, for a break. We're still feeling uh, pretty good in the legs. Um, unfortunately, Joy's feet are starting to go numb again. Um, but I think she does like these new shoes overall. And uh, it's just been a really fun day. Uh, it's, weather is still nice starting to warm up but still pretty comfortable and uh yeah we're, we're keeping a pretty good pace uh, for this length of a ride and uh looking forward to uh, the finishing strong it's been a fun route because it's it's different from what we've been doing lately also so it's always good to have something fresh also i have to say i think it's the cookies I'm... again it's a combination of the temperature we get a nice breeze it's such a beautiful day and the new routes um, there's some climbing it's not like there's no climbing but I definitely think the cookies may be playing a role in this um, so Levain's cookies if you don't know which most of you probably don't know it is a bakery um, created by triathletes and so they have a bakery in New York City called Levain's and they made these cookies because they wanted something that was high calorie. I might be wrong on this, but high calorie for the endurance rides or endurance efforts because triathlon is an endurance sport. Um, but the cookies, oh, they're easy to take down and uh, they're not chewy. Like the Cliff Bars, I find them to be too chewy and these, these cookies, I can just bite into them and they, they melt in your mouth and they have the walnuts in them. So for an, an extra protein slash fats. So they're really good. Um, yeah, anyway, we're gonna finish up here and then we're gonna head out. So we made it back home and uh, that was such a fun ride. Uh, Jason and I kind of took turns drilling at the front. We ended up doing 70 79 miles with over 5,000 feet of climbing 
at 14 and a half miles per hour. I only have a few, like a week or so a window each month where I can actually, I actually feel really good in the legs. So uh, I can't exactly pinpoint the reason to why uh, we both felt really good today. Um, it's just one of those days, I guess. And I guess sometimes you just have to take advantage of these days. And oh yeah, the, the, the weather was also very nice. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the, today's video. Um, I'm hoping to uh, put out more videos this summer and uh, not sure yet. Uh, I don't want to promise anything, but yeah. Hope you guys had a wonderful week. Don't forget to enjoy your ride. Bye-bye.